The enemy, forced from their positions outside the city by elements of the 3rd Regiment, blew up a portion of the Paul Dumer Bridge to cut off logistical support for the advancing South Vietnamese Army. Frightened refugees ran down Trong Hung Dao Street, carrying to safety what belongings they could. Behind them, buildings were ravaged by fires which the communists had set to delay the advancing troops. Only a few days before, Tran Hung Dao Street had been a thriving business center in the city. Now it lay in smoldering rubble. suffering were the only gifts from the communists to the people of Hue on the day of the Tet Lunar New Year. The army worked to evacuate civilians from the battle area. A floating bridge was built to span the gaps in the Paul de Mer Bridge. This enabled the refugees to reach temporary resettlement centers on the south bank of the Perfume River. Frightened and weeping, the aged and weak did their best to carry their heavy belongings in their flight from the city. Hundreds of innocent victims of the communist attack had to be buried in hurriedly dug graves near the main emergency refugee center. The children, many of them orphans, wept in strange surroundings beside the fresh graves. 